Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will talk about session stats. So the concept of session stats is very very important in Streamlit and it help us a lot. So first of all, what is session stat? So it's a way of sharing variables between reruns for each user. So if you want to refresh your browser but you do not want to lose your variables and their data then session stats will help you a lot and we will see it in this tutorial as well how session stats make our work lot easier okay so without further discussion let's jump right into the program and uh, let's create here a simple program and here i'm thinking that uh, i will create a button okay and then whenever user clicks on that button i need to change the text of that button let's create it and here first of all uh, let's write a variable like text the text is equals to and instead of uh, text i will use here an emoji and i will use a dog emoji and i hope that uh, this will not look weird okay and now let's create here a button st dot b u double t o n button okay and uh, my txt text will be this text okay uh, not sorry not text just write here text and then uh, nothing else okay so and i will save the state of this button as well and i will say btn is equals to this okay and whenever user clicks on this btn i need to change the text okay so just write here txt text again okay is equals to and in this case i will use a cat emoji so just paste here the cat emoji and now let's save it and what are you thinking will it work or not okay so let's see the output and uh, let's write here stream streamlit run run c o n c p t concept dot p y okay hit enter okay so this is our button okay so whenever i click on this button nothing is happening and the reason is that whenever you click on the button the streamlet will return the whole application okay and uh, it will change the text again to this dog before it actually represents this so in order to solve this kind of problem we have session stats so ses session stats basically allow us to reserve the variables and their values even after rerunning the application okay so let's create here a simple session state variable and uh, i will name it something like uh, click okay so first of all you have two steps to accomplish the session state logic so in the first step you need to create a session state and then in the second step you need to check for that session state and you need to perform every other logic okay so first of all we need to create a session state so here i will write that if my this c l i c k click okay so this will be my variable name okay so make sure that you should pass variable name in form of a string here okay and i will check that if my this click not in st dot s e double s i o n session stat so this means that if my this click variable is not in session stat this this means that we need to create it first okay so just write here st dot s e double s i o n session stat dots click okay here you have two different types of methods to create a session state variable one is to use this dot operator and the other one is to use square brackets like this okay and then inside these square brackets you need to pass your variable name but i will go with the dot operator okay so just write your dot and then c l i c k click is equals to and uh, this variable will act like a boolean okay and the default value of this variable will be like uh, f a l s e false okay so we need to make it false and this is how you can create a session state variable first of all it will check that if this variable exists then well and good okay and if it does not exist this will create it okay and streamlit will execute this block on the first run okay because on the first run we will not have this click variable inside the session state but after first run we will have this click variable inside our session state okay so now here uh, after creating a variable now let's create here an else statement okay so e l s e l so this means that if my this variable exists then we need to perform every other stuff and here i will check that if my uh, if st dot s e double s i o n session state dot c l i c k click is 
double equals to f a l l s e false okay this means that if my this session stat where click variable is false this means that a user has just clicked on this button after loading the application then we need to change the text of this button okay and I'll, we also need to change the stat of this click variable so just right here text text is equals to and in this case i will change my text to this uh, cat okay so just paste this text here and then i also need to change the stat of this click variable so just copy this line and uh, paste it right here and instead of false i will make it to uh, T R U A true okay and now let's write here an else statement as well so e l e l s e else okay and if my user is clicking second time this means that we need to change the text from the cat to again dog okay so just copy this line uh, copy it and uh, paste it right here and now again let's change the start of this click variable copy it and instead of true make it to false again so f a l s e false okay and i hope that uh, this will work fine and now we do not need this if statement so just remove it okay and let's remove this as well and now let's save it and now this will work fine okay so just uh, reload this application okay and just click on this dog and yeah cat and again click on this cat dog so everything is working fine and this is how you can accomplish awesome stuffs using session state so again let's understand the logic first of all when you run the application it will create a session state variable with name click and then after every button click this will execute this block because we have this click variable which is in our session states and i hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will see something new till that point bye bye